is a joy and a privilege to present Maria Hironi as one of the recipients of the Urban Angel Award. Mrs. Hironi's dedication to work on behalf of the underserved population of New York and Puerto Rico highly demonstrates her commitment to bring healing and wholeness to thousands of people. Her firmly held belief that every person and every family deserve to be supported and assisted, especially in times of distress and trauma, and her unrelenting, unrelenting effort to give voice to, the dilemma, to their dilemma and to work on their behalf are all so paramount in the way she approaches her work. Mrs. Sirones is an advocate a prophetic voice and a determined presence in the public arena and in all levels of government, from local through federal, speaking on behalf of those without a voice. In my four years of working closest, closely with Mrs. Ironi, I can unmistakably witness to her commitment to foster wholeness, healing, and the restoration, restoration of the sense of self-respect and dignity of the people she loves and she serves. She is loved, appreciated, and respected by all who know her and work with her. So it is my joy, it's my privilege to introduce to you Maria Elena Hironi. On behalf of the New York Theological Seminary, we are pleased to present to you the 2010 Urban Angel Award to Marielena Gironi. Buenas noches. I hope that you are having a nice time. Um, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Rebecca, for those kind and generous words. And I, like my other colleagues and honorees, I do also like the um, uh, name of the award, Urban angels. Uh, but I have a secret. I'm no angel. <laughs> so I'm sorry that I have to break that secret to you tonight. I'm just a humble human being that came from a very religious family. And what I am today, I owe to my family who taught me to be compassionate, to be caring, to share, and to enjoy what I had because I had to look behind because there were many who did not have, who did not enjoy what I had. So they taught me early on to share. And then afterwards in my adulthood, I realized that I have other gifts that I could share, my intellect, my intelligence, uh, my uh, experiences, and so on and so on. However, I am blessed because I'm surrounded by angels. And those angels have taught me, have supported me, with my ideas, with my efforts in helping those most vulnerable, beginning with my Latino families and then extending my uh, skills 
my knowledge and my efforts to others who are also in need and who doesn't matter who's going to extend a helping hand, they are most appreciative of whoever is there to help them. I have, I can mention so many angels. The Puerto Rican Family Institute is this year celebrating its 50th anniversary. So we have been in the, thank you. We serve more than 25,000 families and children a year. And I can mention that among the families and individuals that we have served, we have uh, seen them growing, prospering, becoming politicians, becoming priests and ministers, becoming parents and better parents, which is really a joy to see them, how they care and how they teach their children to be better productive citizens in these communities. So um, I'm going to say that um, I am blessed because I have parents who were angels and then in my professional life, I have so many angels, but I want to acknowledge my colleagues who are on table three here. Those are uh, just an example of many angels who work day in and day out for us in the Puerto Rican Family Institute to make a difference about could you stand, please, my staff? Thank you for being part of my army of angels. Uh, about five years ago, some other angels came to me looking to uh, establish a collaboration and a partnership with the Puerto Rican Family Institute. No less and no more than Dr. Rebecca Radillo, Dr. Paul Bradley, and even Betty came afterwards. So we were able to uh, put together a beautiful program aimed at strengthening relationships, be those married couples, individuals, or young adults who are seeking to improve their relationship. This project is worthy of replication. It, their accomplishment is outstanding, and I can say that by testimonial of some of the recipients, they have improved their lives. So Paul, the seminary, Dr. Radillo, we are proud to be in that partnership. <laughs> Although he may not uh, remember me, former Mayor Dinkins, who is here, uh, was another angel in my life. Several years ago, he appointed me to the Foster Care Commission. And since then, the Puerto Rican Family Institute has become the largest provider of child abuse and neglect placement prevention in the city. So I, I can go on and on and on, but uh, what is important is um, to really reflect on some words that a greatest anthropologist said, Dr. Margaret Mead. She said, have no doubts that smaller groups, committed groups, committed persons, can make a huge difference 
in the world. Thank you.